In this lesson, I'll show you how to use invertible matrices to encode and decode messages for cryptograms. A cryptogram is a message written so that no one other than the intended recipient can understand it. To encode a message, we can begin by assigning a number to each letter in the alphabet. For example, A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, C is equal to 3, and so on, and spaces are equal to 0. The numerical equivalent of the message is then converted into a matrix. An invertible matrix can be used to convert or encode the message into code. And the multiplicative inverse of this matrix can be used to decode that message. With that being said, the question reads, use the coding matrix shown here to encode the word base. So the first thing that I'll do is set each of these letters as a number based on where it is in the alphabet. For example, B is the second letter, so it gets 2. A is the first, it's equal to 1. S is the 19th, and E is the fifth. I'll write this out as a matrix. So I have 2, 1, 19, and 5. And notice the order in which I did this. B, A, S, E. Now, they want us to use this coding matrix to encode the word base. So I'll take this matrix and multiply it to the one that you see here, where we have negative 2, 3, negative 3, and 4. Multiply to this one. Now that I have it positioned, I can go ahead and multiply these out. I'll start with the first element. We have negative 2 times 2 plus negative 3 times 1. I'll show you the first two. So we have negative 2 times 2 plus negative 3 times positive 1. That's the upper left corner element in our brand new matrix that we're making. To find this element, I'll take negative 2 times 19 plus negative 3 times 5. And by now, you should know how to multiply two matrices together. If you do this all correctly, and you multiply and add them up, you should end up with the following result. What you see is the matrix that you should end up with. And what this tells us is that our word base is now negative 7, negative 53, 10, and 77. Now anyone reading this outside of those that are following this video will think that these are a random selection of four numbers. They wouldn't understand that these numbers actually encode the word base, and that's the purpose behind this. Now in question number two, they ask us to decode negative 7, negative 53, 10, and 77. To do this, what we have to do is take the coding matrix that we used and find its inverse. And to find the inverse of a two by two matrix isn't hard to do. You start off by finding its determinant. So we have to find the determinant of this square matrix. The way we do that is we multiply A and D together, so negative 2 times 4, and subtract it from the product of the other diagonal products. So we have negative 2 times 4 minus negative 3 times 3. This is equal to negative 8, and these two are equal to positive 9. Combining these, we have 1. We found the determinant, and now we have to find the reciprocal of that determinant. The reciprocal of 1 is 1. So to show you that, we have 1 over 1 is equal to 1. And the reason why this number is important is because we have to multiply this number to each element in the matrix that we'll be manipulating next. So the next thing we have to do is switch the order of A and D. We have 4, negative 2 and switch the signs of these two numbers. So this is negative 3 becomes positive 3, and this becomes negative 3. Multiplying 1 to each of these elements gives us the exact same matrix. That represents the inverse of our coding matrix. And what we do with this matrix is multiply it to this one. Because by multiplying it to the one in orange, we actually end up with the one we started with. So let's go ahead and do that. And just to be clear, I'm multiplying this matrix, which I'll call A inverse, multiplied to B. And I just assign these letters randomly. So to multiply this to this, we have 4 times negative 7 plus 
3 times 10. That's the upper left corner element. To find this one, we have negative 3 times negative 7 plus negative 2 times 10. And after finding this one and this one, your completed matrix should look like this. 2, 19, 1, and 5, which is identical to the one we started with right here. And there you have it. That is how to use invertible matrices with cryptograms.